us a, a head here with this male kudu. Big, beautiful spiraling horns. There was a second one that went, a, went across the road quickly. With kudu, this one's just having a little bit of a bite there. But you'll notice with kudu, with the entire body shape, is you've got a head and a neck that are relatively along the same line, the head sticking up a little bit higher. Yeah, and a tiny little mouth. So even if you didn't know what this animal ate, with the way that the neck stretches with the mouth being up that high, he's probably gonna eat something like leaves, something like a wildebeest, which hopefully we'll see a little bit later. Uh, the head will be positioned down with a very wide lip to pick up grass. And notice when he walked across the road there and how he's walking now very carefully, putting one foot down, the next foot in the same spot. It minimizes the noise that they make in the bush. They're very selective browsers. They're used for uh, determining the health of an ecosystem. So kudu and warthog. So if you're having a drought, we had a horrible drought in the whole area. Um, interestingly enough, a lot of the leaves were still around, but not the, the grass wasn't really there. So the warthogs were having a very difficult time. The kudu still did okay. But if you're having a full-on drought where everything's affected, then you're going to end up with a scenario where your kudu are going to look very skinny, thin in bones. It's a beautiful shot there. Head over. So again, the spiraling horns they were talking about help blend into the bush, the thicker bush where they like to be. The wind's picking up a little bit now. You can see him listening. So uh, you're, you're with me, but if with the wind, the way that the wind is moving, he's going to position himself so that he puts his head to where the wind he can smell and then he's going to put his ears back like what you're seeing now so he's listening to me a bit but he'll put his ears back to hear anything that might be behind him there's that track on track walking we talked about very very soft